welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe, give this video a thumbs up and smash the bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I do these Jolene Reacts videos quite often. So if you enjoy them, make sure you are following, subscribed, and you smash that bell so you get notified. All right. So if you have a video you want me to react to, you can send it to jolenereacts at gmail. Dot com. Now today's video I'm going to react to, I was a little reluctant to react to it just off the title, but I'm going to try and um, see what happens. So the video is, the title of this video is Girl Makes Fun of Someone with Cancer and Karma Hits Her Fast. Take off your wig. I don't need Take, it hair. is a or wig. Plastic. Oh my God, that's embarrassing. Leukemia? What? Do you have cancer? Oh my God, do you have cancer you That's are awesome. such a loser you're wearing a wig because you're bald what just happened how pathetic can you be you're fat you're ugly you look deformed you're poor and you have two weeks ago small streamer named tessie so this must be maybe like on twitch uh got into an argument with another girl over nothing Things started to get serious when Tessie made personal comments about the girl she got into an argument with. Your wig's crooked, by the way. Fix that. Don't be a pussy. Take off your wig, leukemia. <laughs> you have fucking cancer. You're such a loser. Oh my god, I can't. So, what's it like having fucking cancer and having to wear wigs? Well, it's great because people give me money. People... <laughs> I love her. She goes, it's great because people give me money. That, that's a pretty good comeback. I'll pay you to be f***ing ugly and bald. No, people pay me because I'm dying. Oh, baby girl. You're such a f***ing loser. Basically, you're getting a welfare for special needs. Oh my gosh. So people give you money to like, go away because they don't want to deal with you. Because I don't want to talk with you. Why does every idiot who's a bully talk like that? Because I don't want to talk with you. Oh my God, it's such a loss. Like they pay you to like go away, basically. People give you money <laughs> to be plastic? Did she just say people give you money to be plastic? Honey, yes. Yes, they do. Look at her. She's like, I am not plastic. Everything about she's plastic. And to go off on people? And to make fun of people? Is that what it is? Uh, no, I'm not yeah. putting this in my video. Yeah. I'd get canceled, bitch. I'm never gonna get caught. Famous last words, sweetie. Oh my god. Your lips are about to pop. My supporters will not- Like, you're never gonna expose me. My, my supporters will never know that I call fat, ugly bitches losers like you. Who even are you since you're I'll such literally a take all of your cancer money and like I'll see you for all your wigs and cancer money. Since oh my god, I'll literally take all I'll, I'll literally sue you for name? all your chemotherapy. What's your name since you're such a big celebrity? I know what you're doing and you're trying to incriminate me because I know you know exactly who I am. I'm not stupid, like clearly I'm not stupid. I have no idea who you are. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah. I'm like like who do you did you forget did the <laughs> this person who's not only dealing with cancer but also dealing with idiot bullies like this is still winning the argument like is able to remain composed and take her down the plastic in your face make you you, you know me. exactly who i am i'm not I stupid don't. i know mm, you've been you filming the whole like time it. because you think you're gonna cancel me and get clout off of me never and you're trying to get me to confess, incriminate myself. Yeah, I huh? Don't nice try. Out from you. Okay, I don't think she realizes how this works. If this is in fact recorded, which it is, and now we are watching it, uh, we don't need to know your name because you can easily be identified by anybody. Nice try. I'll literally take all your cancer money. I'm gonna take your Make a Wish Foundation. I'm going to sue you for all your wigs and chemo. Try me, botch. <laughs> try my botch. Try me, oh my god, as up. And if you think I'm not serious, find out. Find out. I've done this plenty of times. Oh, she's in. You are really incriminating yourself, you idiot. <laughs> so she not only is saying, I'll never get caught, you'll never expose me, but I've done this 
plenty of time. So then when her apology, you know, fake apology comes out down the road, uh, she can't claim that this was just an off night or a mistake or she took too many zannies and uh, got too comfy with hating on cancer patients. Uh, we just know that this is who she is. It, try to f counsel me. I. She's like smoking the wrong type of weed. I've never known weed that makes you hateful to cancer patients. Someone's giving her a different drug because I don't know any strain that's like, hey, this is this indica will just like calm you down to the point where you get online and you hate on women with cancer. I'll sue everything. I'll sue you for all of your cancer and sue you for everything. I think she would actually like if you sued her for all her cancer, because that would mean you would take her cancer. That's perfect. Then you take her cancer and you get it. I've done this so many times. She just admitted again, she's done this so many times. I feel like I could try this case and it'd be like, done. <laughs> it's just all right here. There's the proof. Jury would guilty. Cool. Thank you. It's the lip fillers, isn't it? <laughs> if you like, listen, I get it that you're jealous. Like, I don't. Nobody's jealous of people who talk like this and can't close their mouth all the way. Nobody. You won't be young forever, but you'll always talk like this. And let me tell you, when you're 60 and talking like this, it's not going to be a good look. I don't have cancer and like my hair's real <laughs> and I'm relevant and you're not. You're not going to cancel me. That's a wig, right? <laughs> I mean, this chick, you are the joke, miss. You are the joke. I saw a wag, right? Wag, right? Or is that like a nest? She thought she did something there. Oh my God. You tried it. You tried it. You failed. Okay. Two weeks later, she fell asleep during one of her streams. No, not the chick sucking down a USB drive 24-7, falling asleep. Her dad was angry and screaming at her sister. He did not know Tessie was streaming. Her dad was leaking personal info. <laughs> Viewers took the time to find her dad's workplace. Oh my gosh, the internet detectives. And so they did. They sent clips of Tessie making comments about people with cancer. This resulted in her dad losing his job. Oh no. Tessie's going to get kicked out of her bedroom. I need you at my house. I'm going to be home in an hour. You better not be there. I'm trying to delete. Her dad, who was at work at the time, calls her and tells her to leave the house immediately. This is getting so good. I can't delete it. I don't know. You should have never ever. ever. I was sleeping! I was sleeping! I didn't know you were screaming! It doesn't matter. You stop screaming in my house. It just cost me my job. Live stream! Get, get the f in my house. I can leave. Get the f in my house. I was sleeping! Go to a hotel. I don't give a f you get out. I can't. I have no Wi Fi. I can't book. You get out my what? Okay, her dad's like, get F out of my house. She's still streaming him after he's like, don't stream in my house. And then she's like, I can't have no Wi-Fi. I can't book. What's book? What is she talking about? I have no Wi-Fi. Yeah, hotels have Wi-Fi. Like, telling you to leave right now or he will. She reports her dad to the police by saying she's endangered as being illegally kicked out of the house. How old is this woman? Oh my gosh. Another victim like hurt me my like my dad wants me to leave right now i like i don't have a chance to move i have no internet he is saying that if i don't leave that i will be like he 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 is threatening to hurt me and he's coming back i don't remember him threatening to hurt her and if that was the case wouldn't she have shown it in the video back in an hour and i have to leave immediately or he will harm me and i uh, no notice no anything i am 18 but there's no notice i'm just being told right now on Girl, 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 the entitlement. He doesn't have to give you notice. Is he paying the mortgage? Well, then bye bye. Oh, then no, bye bye. <laughs> See you later. Get a hotel, get an embassy suites, take some of this money you're making on Twitch, hating on cancer patients, and get yourself a suite at the embassy suites. They also might have a little bit of free Wi Fi. You can also pay the $14.99 a day to get your own internet connection. With it's 1 a.m. in the morning, and I'm being told that if I. Not 1 a.m. in the morning as opposed to 1 a.m. in the not morning. I don't leave that I will be in danger, that my life is being threatened. I need you to take a deep breath for me, okay? We're going to get help to you. Right. And I'm fully capable of moving. Like, Okay, this is when the tears start. This is always all oh, that victim mentality. Such a tough gal. Remember how tough she was when she was like, try out, bitch. No one's ever canceled me before. Try out, bitch. 
I just don't like your wigs. Try that botch. I'll never be canceled. And now she's like, <laughs> and I just, and he threatened me and I don't have enough time to pack all my <laughs> designer imposter purses and I need to line my lip and overline it before I leave the house because if anyone sees me with my natural lip line, they'll never get over it. I work all the time. Um, So uh, I... Does she think streaming and hating on cancer patients is work? Oh no, sweetie. Oh no, no. You know, I do the internet like I'm... She does the internet. I do the internet. Is this like how Al Gore invented the internet? Like, I do YouTube and like... You do YouTube. <laughs> Probably not anymore. <laughs> uh, YouTube, Twitch, whatever. I'm financially fine. Well, then get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. And my dad is threatening to sue me because I fell asleep on a live stream and my dad was screaming at my sister and my viewers leaked the clip of him yelling and he's threatening to sue me. I, I like I don't remember exactly what he said, but I he basically said that if I am not out in an hour that he is going to like seriously harm me and he said that I better be out or 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 it's over and he's gonna hurt me and like he's gonna like whatever and then my sister's banging on my door and it's I love how they just add to the story. I just, again, this is a chick that needs to go in front of Judge Judy with all the, these things that she says. Well, and then his eyes got a heart there. And it's like, and then he was like, I will take your USB drive and I'll step on it. And no, I can smash my USB drive. I gotta have Wi Fi and weed. Wi Fi and weed. That's how I walk. Is he at the house right now? No, he is not there right now. He said that. No, he's busy driving home from his job he got fired from because his daughter's an asshole on the internet he will be back in an hour so i'm like i'm terrified like i need help she is not terrified if you were terrified you'd get the frick out of there does he have any weapons with another yes weapon? yes he has multiple weapons and i do like, i don't know how he even got access to the weapons he's got he has serious mental disorders he has multiple guns he has swords they're everywhere not swords he's gonna game of thrones you run girl run kill me please have someone come Eventually, she makes it safely out of the house and books a hotel. I'm sure with Wi-Fi. Whoop. Hotel IRL. Guys, this is depressing. I wish I brought Molly. Hold on, I'm not really... Did she just say, oh, guys, this is depressing. I wish I brought Molly. Oh my god, I just love to be rolling right now and just like putting Vaseline all over my face and sitting in front of the AC unit inside this Hampton Inn. I just want to like feel like alive. Oh. Really like looking my best. But guys, we're doing a hotel IRL. This should be fun. The thing is, like, it was for the best. Like, had I like not left, it would have been bad for me. But at the same time, the, them not like being totally willing to help and the whole like oh we can't drive you and stuff and like who the frick gets a ride from the police to the hotel you can call a uber do you want me to take you off of live stream no 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 it's very despicable of you do you want me to take you off no, you can leave me on because i have some things to say and they should hear it too right. you are a narcissistic drama queen okay you are all of this is your doing because you can't do the basic things like bathe, take a bath, and what's really, really, really sad here he's, is that all the drama you're creating just so you can monetize he's talking to himself. and make some money and get some 15 minutes. No, he's talking to all of us. He's talking to your followers. He's talking to you. And uh, apparently... You got doo-doo on you because you don't bathe. Just because you might put all that cake, all that makeup on your face doesn't mean you're washing the areas that need to be washed. I mean, who do you think you are? You think you're just like that catch me outside girl? Is that your I mean, who do you think you are? Is, is, is that what you're going to do next? Drop a rap album? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You live. You I already did that several times. You do you. You do you. You have your life. Enjoy your life. But what you've done to today, what you've been doing, is I, I, I don't even know you anymore. Reddit, whatever other platforms you're trying to get your 15 minutes made. But I hope you enjoy this 15 minutes because once this 15 minutes is over, it's a cold, hard reality awaiting you. Oh, you could save your breath because this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Save your breath. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. I wish you the best. Goodbye. You're dead to me. So apparently after Tessie's father saw uh, the video shared on Reddit that we just watched, uh, he's making a statement. Due to some family drama, um, my oldest daughter has, uh, with her streaming uh, internet 
life that she has for herself. She's um, she has decided to uh, involve her rest of her family into that drama that she has imposed upon us all. I, I was not aware that she was live streaming while she's sleeping. Like, who does that? Like, who just puts on a camera and just films herself while they're sleeping? But narcissist, sir. Again, I don't understand. Uh, the current culture of what people will watch as entertainment or to pass the time. Since you want to, you know, dox me and put my home address out on. Poor Jim, she doxed him. Blast me and my social media accounts and the things that I'm trying to do with my life in the world. I'm doing this live as kind of my response to that. Now, I'm not trying to seek retaliation. I'm not. I really am not trying. I'm not trying to be vindictive. But the point is, is that I raised you on my own for 13 years. 13 years as a single parent. Never been the best parent in the world. There's a lot of parents out there probably have been in similar situations to what I'm in right now that can totally identify with what I'm having to deal with right now. I'm dealing with a whole bunch of crap right now. But I'm an adult and I'll deal with it. I'll deal with it and I'll move on. But Maya, you just now just started being an adult and you've never had to pay for really anything in your life. You've never had to be responsible for bills. But that that all ended last night because you decided to call the cops thinking that I'm going to threaten your life and kill you, which there is no record of that, completely false, but just to get attention from the internet and increase your view count and likes and subscribers, whatever your aims were, you basically acted out a scenario where your life was in danger. You called 911. So this is completely self-imposed. I was up till 630 in the morning watching your live stream, watching other content where you're going after people because of either disability, their ethnicity or, or disease or thing like cancer. That is horrible. You, and, and the problem is, is I, I'm, as your father, I didn't. this is not the person that I raised. I did not raise you to be evil or to do negative things like this to other people. It calls other people grief and harm because that's what you're doing. As your father, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always love you. I'm always going to say I don't want no ill to happen to you. I don't. I cross my heart. I don't want nothing bad to happen. If something bad happened to you, I would I – would, I... see, that's the thing. For anyone that's a parent out there, I hope you understand what I'm doing right now because I'm so angry and so upset, yet – when you love somebody, when you freaking love somebody, if anyone's out there ever really loves someone with the core of your soul, and then they do something. If you ever love somebody so much, let's skip ahead. I, you could you come after me all day long. You could talk shit about me all day long. You could you could talk about my books. You could talk about my career. You could just come after me. I'm an. He's got books. Adult. I'm an adult. I could take. I, I could take it. But your sister is a minor. Your sister has had to be front row and center to all your drama for the past eight, nine plus years of five, six. So, you know, folks, I, I saw the comments about, you know, she needs mental health help. I've spent, me and her mother have spent over $40,000 in the past seven, eight years on her mental health and well-being. She has been to psychiatrists and psychologists in Germany, in Arkansas, and in Texas. That's quite the trip. Germany, Arkansas, and Texas. Wow, okay. She has been to at least six, six doctors. She's been to two behavioral health institutions. She has been, uh, she's wow. been on multiple medications, had multiple diagnoses. So as a parent, yes, it's my job to make sure that any concerns for both her mental and health well-being gets addressed. So she has been to doctors. The last doctor she went to, she flat out refused the medication because she quickly looked up the side effects and saw that weight gain was a possible side effect. And when she asked for certain medications that he was not comfortable prescribing for, because she did her research, she basically wanted upper. Adderall. Okay. She wants Adderall. Because she wanted to lose weight. But he refused. He said, this is not safe for you. And she essentially walked out and refused this treatment. That was the very last doctor she ever went to. I have records on top of records and bills on top of bills. I paid for $5,000 ambulance. Right was it too late to put her up for adoption? I'm just, I'm just throwing it out there, you guys. I'm just curious. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the age cut off. There's been times where, as a single parent, for any single parents out there, that it's it's tough. It's, it's, it's one of the hardest jobs in the world. You know, single mothers, grandmothers, aunts, uncles, people that have to raise a kid. It's, 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 it's freaking hard. It's hard. I've traveled the world with my two girls. They've been over 28 countries in this world. And I've given them everything I could to give them wonderful memories, to give them wonderful life experiences. All of that I did for her as her father. And this is how all of that effort, all of that energy, all of those decisions I made in the best interest of my daughters is repaid to me because she captured me going off on my youngest daughter because she wouldn't listen to me. Yes, I said a lot of things I'm not proud of. I said a lot of things about my ex-wife, which Maya's mother, and I'm gonna, I have to thoroughly apologize. If you ever watch this, Iman, I'm sorry. I, I should be a better person than that. This whole family's a mess. I gotta find that video. I really should be, and I'm sorry. I should have been a better husband. And in hindsight, I guess, you guess I should have been a better father. Thanksgiving of 2019, you went to a police station to emancipate yourself, which is stupid. You should have did a Google search on what that means and what that requires. Police have nothing to do with that. But Anytime you think your family is messed up, just watch these videos. Long story short, 
you turned 18 in April of uh, last year, and it was like four months, four or five months of being out the house, and you essentially got kicked out. And I said, you could come live with me. And I told you, as an adult, I only had two simple rules for you. One, don't make fun of people with cancer online. Two, don't let people watch you sleep. Two simple rules was keep your room clean and don't do drugs and illegal activities in my house. That was. I would I would suffer through a dirty room if my daughter wouldn't hate on people with cancer online. She could her room could be dirty if she was just nice to people with cancer. The basic two simple rules I gave you, and you couldn't follow either one. You just couldn't. And time and time again, I, I, I you know I had to deal with you disrespecting me. I had to deal with all this stuff, and then we moved because I sold my house and we moved. We moved right after Christmas, and, and look at this now. Now we've come down to this, because I don't know how long you've been doing the streaming shit. This is my life now, dealing with the fallout of your self-imposed drama. Um, I do not appreciate the post of nudity of my daughter, because she's still my daughter. You know, whatever she chooses to do with her body. And There's nude posts? Oh, my gosh. This is going to turn into a miniseries. This is going to be one of those Netflix documentaries. This is going to be a crime documentary. This is Cuckoo. And her OnlyFans or whatever and allow that content is her decision, her choice. I may not like it, but I don't need to be shown it. So, yeah, don't send the dad the pictures. That's just creepy. I'll also ask that have a little bit of respect there. Also, he told you she doesn't bathe. <laughs> like he doesn't want to be reminded of that as well. I just asked for just a little bit of respect there. Everything else, open game. Y'all want to talk about how fat I am? You want to talk about how old? He's not even fat. What I look, how ugly I look. You know, I'm doing something about it. I go to the gym every day. I mean, the, the, the Crab McGall video, I, I don't even weigh that much anymore. I mean, I'm, I'm freaking, I lift weights. I work. Okay, this is not necessary. Work out. I might. This might explain a little bit. I, I don't want you in my life anymore because of what you've done. It's going to take a lot of time for this, these wounds that you've inflicted to heal. It's going to take a lot of time. So you watching this, Maya? If you're watching this, I'm going to talk to you right now. Uh-oh. And for po people that understand, the people that the parents that understand what I'm about to say, this is as real as it gets. Don't you ever come home. Don't you ever come home after what you've done. You go, go ahead. You're an adult now. Go live your life. Go, go make your money. Do the things you do to make you happy. You get one life. I call it the choose your own adventure that you get to make every day with your choices. I hope you make better choices. I hope you have positive, great things happen in your life. But don't ever, don't ever reach out to me. Wow. Oh my gosh. This family, they're going to be given a reality show. Okay. It looks like her YouTube channel is Playmate Tessie and she has 2.19 subscribers. Oh, Wait, let me make sure this is one of those. She legit just goes to sleep and then people watch her sleep. No, At least you. I'm a rat and not poor like you, rat. fucking ugly, dumb bat. <laughs> you're, you're fat. Rat. You're fat. You're literally big as a whale. Your shirt doesn't even fucking fit. Your shirt does not even fucking fit, you ugly bat. I love whales. I love them. All right, guys, that's about all I can take of that whole situation. I don't know how this is a thing and why people would watch that. It's like her constantly trolling people and thinking that she's clever and interesting because she's just hateful and annoying. What the internet will bring you to. <laughs> Leave all your comments below. Let me know what you think of this whole situation. I mean, it's just like, it's a little too much to where now I need to go like sage my entire being. So take care of yourselves. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Follow me on all the social medias. Have a great rest of your day. And don't ever be like Maya Tessie, playmate wannabe. Bye. Oh.